shall drink of the brook. And I have commanded the raven to feed thee there. Verse number five says, so he went and did according to the word of the Lord. For he went, dwelt by the brook that was before Jordan. Verse number six said, and the raven, somebody say, and the raven. And the raven. And the raven brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drunk of the brook. In other words, he had it going on for his time. The time in the season, he was all right. He was all right. All right. Verse number seven said, and it came to pass. Look at your name, and it came to pass. It came to pass. And, and here, verse number seven, deal with a shifting. Deal with something, amen, the shifting from, amen, good to bad. Verse number seven said, and it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up. Lord, help us. Because there had been no rain in the land. Verse number eight said, and the word of the Lord came to him saying, it said, verse number nine, so tell him, Elijah, arise, get thee to Jehovah. Which belonging, amen. Them, glory to God. I can't pronounce that word. Amen. I got past and dwell there before I before I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain me. I want to talk with you briefly, briefly from this message. I want you to look at your neighbor eyeball to eyeball and tell your neighbor, say neighbor, it ain't over yet. Oh, come on and tell them, tell them. The neighbor is not over yet. It ain't over, it ain't over yet. My, my brothers and sisters, we, we living uh, in a time, in a season where the devil is trying to stop your blessing. The devil is trying to hinder the flow of God in your life. Do you not know when God begins to bless you and when God begins to add to your life, it's like a flow that come upon you. And you know what? When it's your time and when it's your season, there's nothing the devil can do. Come on, somebody. And I believe, I believe you really want to get in trouble with God is to fool with an individual that's walking in their season. Because amen, stuff just be, stuff begin to happen to them. Blessing begin to just amen follow them. Come on, somebody. Amen. But now, now we see here. In First King, that the great prophet Elijah, you know Elijah. Elijah, Amen, was a prophet, Amen, in Israel at that particular time. If, amen, at this particular time, Amen, uh, Elijah was, Amen, one of the most, Amen, dynamic prophets in that time and in that region. God used him. God used, Amen, Elijah to prophesy. Amen. And to tell what thus said the Lord. You know, we, we live in a time now, people don't want it. They don't want no prophet now. They don't want nobody to tell them. They want somebody to tell them about a car and some shoes and amen. You finna get your hat done and amen. All this stuff gonna take place in your life. And that good and fine in this time and in this season. But God was using this man of God, this prophet, amen, to go to a Amen. A particular area and prophesied that it will not rain. And it didn't rain. Come on, somebody. And you know what, man? I, I couldn't understand this when I, when I began to read it. Uh, uh, man, I understand that it's the same Elijah, God had Elijah, the same one that went and prophesied, God told him to go back when there was a drought. Come on, somebody. Amen. When God got a mandate on your life, amen, to do a particular work, amen, to amen, to go in a particular area to do ministry, then the devil is going to do everything he can, amen, to frustrate your hands. He's going to 
going to do everything he possibly can to put the wrong folks around you. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, oh, yes, that can be the wrong people around you. Come on. Amen. I'm talking about what I mean by the wrong people. The wrong people don't have no vision, don't want to pay attention. Amen. They easily be swayed off. Come on, somebody. But look at your neighbors and neighbor, you got to be focused in this last hour. You got to be focused. Yeah, now, now, we begin to look at this thing and verse number four said, and it came to pass that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded thee a raven to feed thee. And I, I, I can imagine in my mind, I, man, Elijah was like, man, look, it's dry over there. There's nothing over there. You want me to go over there? And you said you already have commanded a 